Hello everyone, welcome to Jackie's Boutique. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on, well, it's more like a refreshment, on how to make a bottle cap, one inch bottle cap using Photoshop Elements 11. Now I have gotten a lot of questions on is Photoshop free? Photoshop is not free, um, but they do offer a 30 day free trial. So if you want to go and try it out before purchasing it, you can go ahead and do that. I know Photoshop is very pricey, so I know I tried it out before purchasing it. So yeah, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is you want to open up Photoshop Elements 11, and I already have mine open. So you want to go to File, New, uh, Blank File. And I'm going to name mine uh, Paw Prints. So that's what I'm going to name my bottle cap images, uh, well, my document. And you, on the preset, you want to make sure you have it at photo. Now it's up to you what you want to use. You can use 4x6 portrait or 4x6 landscape. I'm going to go ahead and use the 4x6 landscape because I find it that you can get a little bit more um, bottle caps than you would in uh, portrait, but that's totally up to you. And your preferences <coughs> excuse me um, you want to make sure the resolution is set to 300 pixels and again how see I changed it and moved it um, you want to make sure the color code mode is our uh, RGB color and the background contents is white so now you want to click OK and here's your document okay so I want to go ahead and use this uh, chevron uh, background. So I'm going to go over here to the high blue highlighted where it says background and I'm going to right click duplicate layer. Now it's going to bring up this um, little box here and it says background copy and I'm going to go ahead and name it chevron. And the document, it says chevron, purple, lilac, lavender, violet, which is in this document. I don't want it in that document. I want it in my paw prints document for my bottle cap images. Now I'm going to hit OK. So I'm going to go over to my document, and here's my chevron. I'm going to go ahead and resize it to the size I want. Just a little bit more. OK, now I'm going to go ahead and click this um, check mark as OK. So now I'm going to want to go over to my elliptical tool. Now uh, for those just opening up Photoshop, your elliptical tool or your marquee tool will be the rectangular uh, marquee. You're going to want to go ahead and hit the elliptical one. Click on it and you'll get your little elliptical here. Now I have mine, uh, my aspect set to fixed size for one inch and it creates the perfect one inch circle for you. So I'm going to leave it at that. Now you can mess with that. You can hit normal, you can hit fix ratio, you can hit fix size. You know, I'm just going to leave mine as it is and I do not feather it. So I have it at zero PX. So I'm going to go ahead and click in the center and place it right there. Now you want to get rid of all this right here all this um, background stuff. So you're going to want to go to hit, go to select, inverse, delete. And then you have this. Now I'm going to go ahead and click outside the box where it's not highlighted no more. And then I'm going to go to this uh, create a new layer. So I'm going to click on it. And after I create my new layer, I'm going to go over to the custom shape tool and click on it. Um, I'm going to use the circle one right here, but I want the background to be white, so I'm going to change the color. And then I'm going to go ahead and just drag out. I have it in uncon unconstruction. Again, you can define your portions, define your size, fix size. I have it on un unconstruction because I like to stretch it out and figure out where how, how big I want it and whatnot. Next, I'm going to go to the cookie cutter tool, 
and it's already set. You're gonna to want to find your shape, and I already my shape's already set. So I'm gonna go ahead and click in the middle, and it says this layer must be simplified before proceeding. It will no longer have a vector mask. Simplify the shape. Okay. So now there is no vector here to do anything with, and I can do whatever I want to the circle here. So I'm gonna go ahead and move it, and I'm gonna stretch it out a little bit. Okay, so I want to make sure that everything is perfect, so I'm going to zoom in. And I'm also going to create, but make sure you're selected on that shape. I'm going to go ahead and create a, a color around the, the circle, the inside circle. So I'm going to go to sh uh, Edit, Stroke Outline, and I'm going to pick like a light lavender color, and that looks like an okay color. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. I'm going to leave it at 10 px and hit click ok and mine is set to the outside so there is my circle now the next thing i want to do is i want to get this paw print and as you can see i have already selected it but i'm going to go ahead and click um, the quick selection tool and i am going to just select all around and get the whole image since the inside of my circle is white um, so yeah, <laughs> so now I want to go to edit, copy, after you have selected the whole picture, then you're going to go over here to your, uh, where your bottle cap images are going to be, you're going to go to edit, paste. Now my paw print's a little too big, so we're going to reshape it by hitting the, the move, the move tool, sorry I didn't mention that before, um, by hitting the move tool you want to resize it and resize a little bit more and I think I like it like that so I'm gonna go ahead and hit the check mark now I'm gonna click outside to look at it and I see that there's white um, there is some white sticking out there white sticking out so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my eraser tool and just go and oh make sure I'm clicked on the layer that I'm gonna delete and just delete so yeah you want to go ahead and I messed up right there so if you mess up a little bit go ahead and do edit undo erase and just So now I have me, me, <laughs> I have my bottle cap image ready and set to go just the way I like it. So I want to go back to the zoom and I want to go to f uh, fit screen size so that we can see, uh, so you can see your whole document now. So next thing you want to do is you want to click on these um, little link, the chain links and you want to link all of them together. And then you want to go to layer merge linked and then you want to go to the move tool and be able to move it and as you can see I deleted there <laughs> um, so you want to go ahead and delete and move your little bottle cap image now as you can see the background has a red dot from when I hit the erase button and I wasn't selected on the image that I wanted to erase what we can do is just go to the click on the background again click the erase tool and simply well I can't do that because we need this to be white <laughs> make sure it's white and just delete and you have your image back to normal so now to get more um, of the bottle caps lined up here make sure you're on your move tool you want to uh, click on the layer and you want to right click duplicate layer and of course you want to keep it in the same document so leave it there and just hit OK and it'll show up on the same spot it's at but you just want to click on it and drag it down and again the same thing it'll show up in the same little where you duplicate it and just move it down 
Okay, so there you have it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know, and I will do my best to answer them. Um, I will leave all the description, uh, everything where you can contact me at um, in the description below. Thank you again for watching.